When it comes to on-the-go entertainment, offline games cannot be topped. You can play these games without any internet whatsoever, which eliminates all the limitations of portable gaming at times. Hey guys, this is Sam from Down to Top, and today I'm back with 15 offline games for this month. So let's get started with number 15. Scuba Diving Simulator This is a casual game about exploring the ocean and collecting treasures. In the game, your mission is to find a ship that sunk in the deep sea, and you have to collect clues and evidence to find out why did it sink. Additionally, you have to be careful during the missions because there are sharks and octopuses abound. In addition, an important point to make is that this is not like a simulator. It's not an open world and there is no free dive option. Currently, the game only features 5 missions. Number 14. Miss Bullet This one's a first-person shooting game featuring cartoonish graphics. In the game, you step into the role of a secret agent, and your task is to complete the mission as provided and kill all the enemies. In addition, as you progress, the missions become harder, and there's a total of 10 missions plus several boss fights. The game has great mechanics, like breaking the door with a single kick. Miss Bullets also features 4 types of guns and some good control. Number 13. Zombie Train Survival this one's a survival game where you have to survive in a post-apocalyptic world where everyone has become a zombie. The game is very similar to an ordinary zombie survival game, and in it you'll control a train which will help you to go from your base to the zombie forest where you search and collect various resources and items by exploring the open world of the game. But of course, you also have to fight with zombies who get in your way and craft various items like tools, weapons, and other important stuff for survival. Overall, it's a decent game, but it needs a lot of improvement. Number 12. The Shadow Sun This one's a classic RPG where you explore the decadent imperial city of Shar and the exotic desert lands around it, delving into a story filled with intrigue, danger, and shocking surprises. There are over 70 unique and explorable areas within the imperial city, and you can expect to encounter plenty of hostile creatures along the way, all of whom will be jotted down into your codex. You can complete the quests you are given in the Shadow Sun in multiple ways, each of which depends on your playstyle and character's abilities. Number 11. Arrow Smash This is an arcade-style shoot-em-up game where the object is to stay alive the longest and gain the highest score possible by shooting down enemy planes and objects on the hectic battlegrounds you'll be thrust into. You control a variety of flying objects that can mostly be classified as planes, with additional flying vehicles that you can purchase or earn over time. You only have 3 hearts or hits before your plane blows up and you lose. However, you can continue once per stage, and this will cost you either an ad or 100 coins. Number 10. The Curse of the Stepmother Emily <laughs> This game is an interesting horror adventure game with an impressive atmosphere where you'll find yourself in a rather old log cabin filled with secrets. In the game, you play as the main character, a pitiful girl. She's living with an evil stepmother, and your father's been kidnapped or is missing by some strange circumstances. You must find a way to understand the truth and rescue your father, and the stepmother is always looking for ways to torture you. Number 9. Planet's Rush This is an arcade game with cute poly-style graphics. In the game, you control a car from top-down perspective, and your goal is to reach all three checkpoints located on the planet. In the meantime, you have to collect coins while avoiding obstacles and also keeping an eye on the fuel bar before you run out. In addition, Planet Rush features 27 levels and 3 maps to explore. All in all, it's a decent game with good control and good mechanics. Number 8. Pipehead As you can probably tell from the name, this is in the horror genre. It is a 3D action game with first-person perspective. 
In the game, you have to clear your location of monsters, collect items in abandoned houses, and watch ads. Yeah, that's the downside. The game does offer interesting and scary stories about the pipe-headed monster that you're sure to encounter in the exclusive zone. If we're talking about the visuals, the atmosphere is dark and the graphics are decent. Overall, it's a pretty good horror game with good storyline and features scary jump scares. Plus, the controls are good. Number 7. Maximus 2 If you've ever played the game Black Moor 2, then you must have recognized this game very easily. This one's an action-adventure game where you'll fight with a lot of enemies and play as a warrior who's on a deadly mission to save his city and his king. Along with this, the game features a good storyline and co-op multiplayer mode in which up to four players can fight together in online battles. But don't worry, you can also play this game offline too. Overall, this game is awesome and total must-try. Number 6. Thief Simulator A surprisingly fun thief-like game in an open-world setting. While it doesn't have all that polish and shine right now, the gameplay loop is fun and engaging. There's plenty to see, do, and steal. In a simpler way, this is like a Grand Theft Auto without the violence where you steal but kill no one. You roam from neighborhood to neighborhood earning money to pay off your debts to a crime family. Your contact Vinny sends you their routes through voicemail messages as you level up. Overall, it's a good game but does need some optimization. Number 5. Total War Medieval This one's a historical grand strategy game that offers 17 playable factions where you decide how to reign supreme, whether that's through diplomacy or pure brute force. The primary campaign should last most players 30 plus hours, with hundreds of hours of gameplay for completionists. Just keep in mind this is an older game that was launched in 2006 and now it's finally been released on MOBO. Number 4. Shadowblade This one's a fast-paced action platformer game where you play as Kuro, a young man who's on his quest to become the Shadowblade. The game features 40 levels to explore, filled with secret objects you need to complete each level successfully. You also have to fight with other enemies using your deep combat skills with ninja weapons. Overall, the game has a fantastic 3D world with smooth as still character animations. Number 3. Opus Rocket of Whispers This is a very gentle, cute role-playing game with a very gentle character, like an anime style. But after playing it, it is very haunting and brings us countless thoughts. In the game, you play as a character who suddenly falls into a very confusing situation, becoming one of the few people to survive a planetary disaster. And now you'll have to find ways to survive while making your way to your homeland. If you're a story-driven gamer that loves a lot of adventure, then this game is for you. Number 2. Gear Club Stradale If you want to play a realistic racing game, then you must try this one. The game runs similarly to Microsoft's Forza Horizon, where you can swap between and drive gorgeous cars around the Italian region. Players start their journey in a beautiful villa and can team up with friends to create a supercar club by completing daily, weekly, and monthly exclusive challenges. According to the developer, the title offers the best car handling experience on a mobile device. It features a lot of licensed cars which make this game awesome. Also, Apple features this game in their event at the launch of the iPhone. Number 1. Rise of Demons This is a fast-paced first-person action shooting game. 
At first glance, the gameplay style is completely similar to the playing style of Doom Reboot on PC, with a fast-paced action style and fast-paced running and shooting. Much like the Doom series, this one benefits from a kick-ass soundtrack and copious amounts of gore. In addition, the levels are generally a joy to explore, the guns still pack a bunch, and they're both surprisingly well suited to being played in short bursts when out and about. The game also possesses beautifully realistic 3D graphics along with a relatively easy to control mechanism. So there you have it, the 15 best offline games of the month. I'm Sam from Down to Top, it's been a pleasure. As always, I keep you up to date on the best mobile games as they're released, so make sure you subscribe for more awesome content. Peace!